All right, Project fans, we've got a review video for you today and an install video for today. We are doing the Kosuit LED rock lights. We're gonna be installing the rock lights on the Ram Hemi 2500. Yeah, get away from my truck. I guess we're doing it on the golf cart and the Kubota tractor. We're putting the rock lights on the Kubota tractor and the club, the club car. While we try to figure out how to install these on the tractor and the golf cart, like real not smart people. So what are the odds this catches on fire when we're done? I did the dual battery system in my truck, my LED light, my switch panel for my USB hookup, my power inverter. I haven't set anything on fire yet, so I'll give you 50% chance. Though. Let me go over the advertised features of the rock lights. The Vosuid light housings are made of a super durable die cast aluminum shell and project 540 lumens of light each with a red, blue, green, and white color range. It's like a tractor rave out here right now. Vosuid claims that the lights have a 50,000 hour lifespan. And obviously we didn't try them out for 50,000 hours, but they're LED lights, I believe it. The lights are waterproof with a claim that you can completely submerge them while on and working for 72 hours. And again, although we didn't test this out, based on the quality, I believe it. The lights come with a remote control and also easily connect to an app for your phone. Isaac just downloaded the app. He didn't have to do anything to connect to this. It just automatically connected to this device. He's already controlling it within seconds of having the app on his phone and it being hooked up. Do you have to do anything special to make the remotes work? They just have to be on. In the package, you will also get the hardware you need to install the lights, rubber shock absorbers, and a very generous amount of cable length for install on almost any size vehicle. I know they give you this much wire because it's like necessary if you're doing like on a, a big truck. This is so unnecessary for a golf cart. And although in the advertisement, they do mention that you can install these on Jeeps, trucks, UTVs, ATVs, SUVs, RVs, apparently all of the acronyms, razors, boats, cars, and four by fours. They do not mention golf carts or tractors, but of course, that's what we're here for. See, like I said, that actually works perfect. That's not the right way to install it, but I really don't think it's the wrong way to install it. All right, Project fans, this is Tiffany. Get away from my truck. This is Isaac's girlfriend. What do you think about the uh, Pimp My Ride uh, Club Car Edition? I'm living for it. Good, so it's got the approval. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Now let's go over some basic install instructions right after you hit the subscribe button because this video is awesome and you know I deserve it. Do it. Do it! Obviously, every install is going to be slightly different, but in general, this should work for most situations. You've got your hot, you've got a ground. This is for your brake lights. This will turn all of the, the ground effect lights red. If you hit your brakes, you will attach the red wire to the positive terminal of your battery, the black to the chassis ground or a negative terminal of your battery, and the yellow to your brake light if you have oh, one. Oh, this doesn't have brake lights either. You get no brake light effects. The best way to wire the lights is through a switch. Engage. Since the lights default to on when given power. The lights default to on. That's why I brought switches. After this, the only thing you need to do is decide where and how to mount the lights. And don't be afraid to do a little zip tie magic. We did and it worked fine. Oh, and the most important tool, zip ties, just in case. Now let's do the cons and pros. And I'm gonna start with the biggest con of this product. The hardware that comes with the lights isn't the best and the sizes of tools you need are mislabeled in the install guide. 10 millimeter wrench in a six millimeter Allen key, which we know is incorrect because it's a three millimeter Allen key. I really think they missed an opportunity to make this product an undeniable must buy by including an Allen key and a basic wrench. I was ready to give this thing like raving reviews because it installed easy and it's nice and hooks up your phone and everything, but like sucks. Like, stupid, like you could spend the extra three cents to give me the tools. And that is the only con. The install process was super simple and took almost no time at all. The real talk though, really easy to install. It was fast and quick and I don't think it would be that much longer on an actual vehicle. There was plenty of wire for any size install and the cable disconnects made fishing the wire super easy after I realized they existed, of course. Oh, I'm a moron. So all that time trying to jam that thing in there and you just realized it unplugs and you could just jam that thing through there. To my absolute surprise, the app worked amazingly well and connected automatically. Not only that, but it had settings for running multiple devices at once with the feature to synchronize lights of different devices and to synchronize lights to music. So if we did like a golf cart parade, like we got like 10 golf carts, we can connect 10 of these to them and then just all have synchronized lights. The lights were incredibly bright at night and as fun as these were, we found that having the lights on the tractor were functional as headlights and rear visibility lights. I could think of dozens of practical applications for these other than being ground effects lights. Simply put, these lights are amazing. So go to the description, there's an affiliate link, which means I get paid if you use it and I need the money because I'm poor. So click the link, buy some lights, thank you, goodbye.